What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Tesla stock. Guys, most importantly, is Tesla stock gonna go much lower? Is Tesla stock going to go to $150 now? Or this is the final test and starting Monday we will be making our way higher. So we'll talk about all that stuff guys in this technical analysis. I'll be using a lot of my data and the tools that I have built over the course of many years that you can also have access to. Links are in the description below of this video. And let's identify together what the price action is telling us and what to do now with Tesla stock from here onwards. So guys, with that, please note, none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes. Also, please hit the like and subscribe if you find values in my videos alrighty now guys so definitely um, the today's red candle is not what I wanted to see that's for sure there is no denying that now um, also like we have closed the week right now we will be doing a lot more I will be doing another video over this weekend guys on Tesla because Today's short volume percent data will come in the evening, but let's see what short sellers has been doing uh, for us or against us or against the bulls over the last couple of days. So the funny thing is that today's red candle, at least unless I see short volume huge, I am still not worried about the today's sell off, but let me cover a couple of things first and then I'll get back to this point again. So what I'm seeing is that Tesla yesterday also was just shorted at 27% of the total volume and anything on Tesla above 35% I consider a high short volume but I haven't been seeing this this, this last whole week on Tesla. So I'm not worried still yes for me Tesla is still bullish okay not just short volume data but um, also now because I'll be showing you how Tesla is still bullish based off of other price action patterns. We are still in higher highs, higher lows. Yes, I get it that this next one is looking like a more of a, hey, it's a lower low junior trader. Can't you see it? Are you kidding me? Yes, it can be argued here that this may be a lower low. So, but hear me out. There are a lot of other things as well that we haven't really confirmed this yet. And the Confirmation of this is not that strong as well if this is a uh, lower high. So why I say that? Because we are still maintaining this trend line, technical trend line on Tesla, which is still to the upside. Also, most importantly, we are still above 20 days moving average, guys. Stock price breaking out of 20 days moving average on this such a strong volume, coming down again, retesting it and holding it for long enough is no kidding, guys. You know, um, as long as Tesla is still above this 20 days moving average, you know, um, this is still a potentially a bounce and a long play, right? This is still, in my opinion, 20 days moving average being below the price right now. Tesla is still bullish. Yes, if we break below the level of 191 or 189, actually, that's what I was pointing out in one of my previous in my yesterday video. That's when I'm really concerned, okay? If Tesla breaks this trend line and also break this 20 days moving average, then I'm really, really concerned, okay? Um, but so far, in my opinion, we only have one day left now to guys prove us wrong. Well, when, or prove us right or wrong, however you want to see it. So if Monday, Tesla can stay above now and be, okay, it's going to happen Monday, all right? Either it's going to explode or it's going to fall, but that is happening on Monday. It's going to be a good breakout or a flush. So... And I'll cover a lot more over this weekend as well when I have more data, guys. But for for what I'm seeing right now as for today's price action, and also let the market close. I want to see the how post-market also closes. So over the weekend, we'll do also weekly analysis. So you want to subscribe, guys, if you haven't done so. But now let's go to the hourly interval and let's talk about a couple of more things. And yeah, this is okay. So in the post-market, I'm seeing this thing is slipping below 200 hours moving average. I'm not liking it. All right, guys, let's talk about it. And that's why the way the post market will also close is very important now. So let's pull this uh, box a little bit to the right. So this was the box, right, guys, you were looking at. Now, yes, in the post market, guys, 
so far I am seeing it is below 200 hours moving average, which is that moving line, green line. We are also below trend line, unfortunately, guys. You gotta be watching at this point, guys. Yeah, you you gotta pretty much this is the area you are watching. If Tesla closed the post market today 191 and below, and on Monday it doesn't come back again above 191 or 193. Yes, we we have a problem guys. Yes, Tesla may be heading then much lower and what are those levels? well You you should also have one, you know, this one level that I'm seeing here This is where that support bounced happened right the demand zone 189 right and that's why you know, I always suggest take some partial profits out when you are you know trending higher but guys yeah, so right now uh, looks like this 198 just shy of $200 has been used as a very strong resistance and uh, right around that as if we break below 191 and 39 cents then it's a problem we are heading much lower and where can we come down to guys well we'll come down to then 182 um, but it's just not going to be that guys it's just not going to be below 182 we will very likely then gonna come much lower and that will be guys 152 and 164 but we are still far out from price action to give us those confirmation because daily levels are given much more priority over hourly interval if I do the numbering system here on the calculations on daily interval guys your last okay your last savior you say as unit reader what is the last point that this is it we don't want to look at other things we just want to see one thing tell us one thing so if you want to know that that is your 20 days moving average if we close a candle below 20 days moving average on daily yeah houston you have a problem on your hand okay so that's that guys and monday's the day guys if we come back up we can go up if on monday guys yeah that's an ex continuation of explosive move it's it's monday's the day guys monday's the day all right now let's take a look at QQQ and SPY as well. We all know NVIDIA has been skyrocketing, which has led the QQQ and SPY do a complete different U-turn on the upside, right? But this is just I'm showing you NVIDIA. I'll do a complete different video on NVIDIA um, as well. I did one video this morning, check those out as well, but I'll do a complete separate video soon as well on NVIDIA when you know the post market everything has closed. But let's take a look at QQQ and SPY today and let's see what's been going on in their world. So this is QQQ. And so, yeah, guys, um, okay, in my opinion, QQQ will, will come back much lower. Um, but first level to watch for that is around 429 to the downside. But let's talk to the, let's talk on the hourly interval. And yeah, okay. So in my opinion, guys, yeah, QQQ can head, head down much lower, you, you know. Uh, we definitely want to see first the break of 435, but it's already heading lower. It may, if it finds support, this is the area, 200 hours moving average and 50 hours moving average. And if that also breaks, guys, we are again starting to build to the downside just like we did here. Well, but thanks to NVIDIA, right? How it just, you know, pushed things to the upside. Um, but yeah, but right now, let it build, let it confirm on hourly interval that it's get becoming ready to cool off and then this can be cooled off. But so far, yeah, it is still in the bullish territory. SPY. SPY has been much stronger. Today is a weaker day. SPY, in my opinion, will cool off to $503 now. And then we'll see the price action. Until then, it's still technically bullish, guys, on daily interval. But yeah, 503 is very likely next week we'll get on SPY. Cool. Good stuff, guys. Yeah. Wow. Very simple. Yeah, guys. So, well, this is it for this video, guys. Hope you found it helpful, valuable. If you did, and also, if you need access to my tools that marks all these levels automatically across all given instrument or stocks, cool dashboard down here intraday levels day trading levels plus wall street alerts all these things are part of my membership links are in the description below of this video all right have a good one guys i'll see you in my next videos bye